Drop a like on this video within the next five seconds or get broke like this next time you get on 2K. I wouldn't risk it. If you want authentic jerseys for less than half the price of the NBA store, make sure to hit up Pristine Jerseys. The link is in the description. Use my code badge plug at checkout. As you see, you can get NBA jerseys, throwback jerseys, shorts, all types of stuff. Make sure to click the link in the description. Let's get into the video. What is up, guys? Hey, it's your boy, Badge Plug. And today, I'm back on my LaMelo ball build. If you guys haven't seen it yet, make sure to go check it out. I just posted it yesterday. I highly recommend it because this will be my build for the rest of the year. But today, I'm going to be showing you all two shooting badges that are insane on 2K21 when you pair them together. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what badges I'm rocking right now as well. It is Green Machine and Hot Start. When you combine these two badges, and also in this video, we're going to be talking about what badges you should use for your build, it's going to be overpowered if used correctly. So not only are we going to be talking about why these are beneficial to your build and making you go crazy on 2K, I'm also going to be helping you guys pick and decide which exact badges you should be using for your build. So drop a like, man, because I didn't waste your time at all. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And let's get into the gameplay where I'm not only going to show you how it's OP, we're going to be talking about a bunch of other shooting things as well. All right, we are back on the LaMelo Ball build. As I was telling you all yesterday, man, this is going to be my build for the rest of the year, my main build. And I'm so excited because this build is so fun to use and also it's insanely good once we get it to 98 overall is where i unlock pro dribble moves and then the build will be complete it will be the best build on 2k i highly recommend you guys go check it out if you haven't yet now getting into the video not only did i go ahead and tell you guys the badges that are really op to use together that is the point of this video but we're gonna go ahead and talk about what badges you should be using on your build because these two are not something you should put on first. The first badges you should have on from rank of importance, unless you're a spot up, is number one, range extender. Now, if you're spotting up in the corner, range extender is only for one step back. It only works for one step back on the three point line. So if you're sitting in the corner, you don't necessarily need range extender. You can just throw it on bronze or something if you want. But other than that, if you're any other type of build that needs shooting badges, number two is going to be Hot Zone Hunter. This badge right here is literally what it's called, Hot Zone Hunter. When you're in a hot zone, it gives you a big boost to your rating, your three point rating, your mid range, whatever it is, you should definitely always have on Hot Zone Hunter and Range Extender is something that you will need 100% if you're on any type of build that's not a spot up because if you're one step back and you don't have it on, you're going to be shooting very badly. So Hot Zone Hunter not only gives you a boost for having hot zones, but it also gives you the Hot Zone Hunter boost as well. So you're going to be shooting in your hot spots extremely proficiently. Now, number three is Deadeye. Now, Deadeye, this badge you could maybe put before Green Machine, but Deadeye is very important because it is a Deadeye, you know what I'm saying? So when someone goes up to you and they jump, if it's a slightly bit late at all, that's when Deadeye works. So unless they're straight up in your face, Deadeye is going to work for almost every single one of your shots, which means you'll be able to shoot a lot more contested like you see right there. Deadeye is extremely important now depending on how many shooting badges you have if you're able to get them hall of fame or not that's something you guys can think of as well do i put range extender on gold do i put hot zone hunter on hall of fame but most of you guys do have hall of fame shooting badges if you don't just take all these badges that i've said so far and make sure they are on gold if you've got them on hall of fame make sure to put them on hall of fame you see what i'm saying so range extender has to be maxed out no matter what you have gold or hall of fame make sure it's on gold or hall of fame at its max hot zone hunter max out dead eye maxed out now my next most important badge is either for if you're a spot up it's going to be catch and shoot if you're not a spot up you don't need catch and shoot but i do rock it on bronze because it's one of my extra badges but if not then it is green machine now these two badges i've talked about a lot on 2k21 current gen earlier in the year especially hot start because i love hot start it's an amazing badge but i would recommend green machine over hot start because green machine works after your second green 
So right away, you're not going to have a bigger green window, but once you green two shots in a row, your green window is going to be bigger. If you guys don't know what that means, that's what green machine is. It opens up your green window. So let's say a jump shot is about 500 milliseconds, right? Your green window, which means in that release, the time to green the shot is let's say 40 seconds. Well, after your second green, it's probably gonna be 55 seconds. Then after your next green, it's gonna be 70. And depending on how high you have green machine on your shooting badges, like if you have a gold or hall of fame, is going to move that up more. Therefore, you don't necessarily have to get a perfect release anymore as you keep going. Your window's going to expand, which is gonna make it much easier for you to shoot. Now, if you miss, you lose out on the green machine that you had. By the way, guys, this game right here, is lit amazing threes gameplay my first threes gameplay that i'm dropping with the lamello ball build it was extremely close and i literally had to play perfect in order to win as you guys will see now the reason why i have it over hot start is because hot start is something that only works for your first shot and on so if you miss your first shot you lose hot start for the rest of the game. Or let's say you're two shots in and you miss, you lose hot start for the rest of the game. Green Machine, you can start off 0 for 5, then green one shot, green another, and green machine is on. Then you can miss and then make two more shots and green machine is back on. You see what I'm saying? Hot start is something where you really want to make sure you are good at shooting if you're using it at a high level of badge. You see what I'm saying? What I'm saying is you should have it other badges like range extender hot zone hunter make sure those are maxed out before you put anything on hot start but if you combine green machine and hot start you're gonna be going insane on 2k because green machine opens up your green window which makes it easier to green and also hot start combined with that means that the hot start is gonna open up your attributes. So let's say I have an 85 three-pointer right now with this Lamella ball build. Hot start, I make one shot with it on Hall of Fame. I'm probably gonna move up to like an 88, 89, something like that. And watch this, this dude gets the rip. I go down, block that. Yeah, you got the cookies on me, but it ain't sweet. It ain't sweet on the Lamello build. You know what I'm saying? That's a chase down block and it's beautiful. Gosh, I can't wait to get this build to 99 overall for you guys. I'm telling you, it's gonna be so so beautiful i cannot lie but you want to have green machine first because that's going to be something you can have on multiple times during the game now let's say i make my third shot then my three pointer is going to be at like 98 make my next shot it's going to be like 105 you see what i'm saying it keeps going so not only does your rating go up which also makes your you know your window go up and stuff like that you're gonna just be splashing and you guys see in these games it's gonna help me a lot People have been telling me that you have to have an 86 three-pointer to shoot like a play shot. My build right now has an 84 or an 85. So hot start really helps me out a lot on this build because I make my first shot and I'm already over that rating I need to shoot just like a playmaking shot, shot creator. You know what I'm saying? So nine to eight in this game, this dude's gonna drive down. He gets blocked. We try to pick it up. Premier dives, throws the ball. He picks it up. It's a hectic game really hectic but we've already got three points on the board they hit a little layup right there and you can tell it's close we really have to try extremely hard or we're going to lose this game so i come down the court lamello ball pull up bow green so now that i've green two shots i've got not only do i have two hot starts going right because it works as your first shot goes in two hot starts but now i've got green machine on as well with playmaking takeover and once your takeover is a bit higher it also ups your attributes so i've got my ups on attributes with the uh and you see me getting the lay right there because we have three finishing badges and that's all on contact finisher baby but we've got two green machine we got the green machine going we got two hot starts going we have our takeover going which ups our attributes and then we have the hot start which also ups, ups your attributes so right now i'd say we're probably at around 105 110 three-point rating which is crazy but that's where we're at because our player is so hot so i kick it down to premier and it's 16 to 14 now this game right here you guys are seeing it's very bad defense because we were just miscommunicating all over the place and it happens it does happen from time to time if you guys want to watch me streaming on facebook this was live streamed on facebook make sure to type in badge plug i'm streaming there every single day by the way every day we are streaming on Facebook. So I'm grinding out this build on Facebook 
all the time and we're trying to get it to 99 overall so you see me cooking up doing my thing kicking it to beasted he does not shoot that thankfully kicks it back to me and we got to make something work it's 16 16 i'm oh pump faking kicking it back to beasted off ball screen trying my best to score man they're not giving me any room kicking it back to beast he pulls up a white and then premier gets the board kicks it back to me i'm pulling up green white just kidding white so look that white right there when i'm two greens in and I've got my hot start going and I'm close to takeover or got takeover. That's something, especially you see, I got corner specialist on too as well, just in case I take those corner shots. That's a shot that I'm not scared to take white or not contested or not because my attributes are so high. So when I made that, I wasn't surprised at all. You see what I'm saying? When little Timmy makes a white after he's being over five, makes three whites in a row, that's very upsetting. But when you're in hot start, you're in takeover and I shoot a white, I'm not surprised when it goes in. So I hit him with the fake right there. He did not give me enough room to shoot. Premier drives down. It's 19 to 18. It's so close. I'm pulling up green. See ya. Literally a perfect game. It's your boy Badge Plug. You've been plugged in. Hit that subscribe button. If you're new, leave your opinions down below and I'm out. Peace.